In this video, I'm going to look at Grey Knights, the new plastic kit for the uh, Grey Knight Codex. So here we go with the sprue. Um, as you can see, there's lots of weapons. You may have seen these. There's some two-handed swords there. Um, there's this uh, force staff thing that gives them a special save. There's some of these uh, single-handed swords. Lots of great options. Lots of little bits here. Look at the other side of the sprue. Um, shoulder pads uh, and what else we have backpacks you'll see that there's two sets of backpacks you get uh, okay going on to the next sprue so here's one of the heavy weapons um, and here's the other two and they got this uh, plague bearer head inside the sword there and some of these backpacks here with the jump teleporter packs and there you go other side there lots of arm arm, arm combinations and uh, single hands there that have some cool poses. Okay, so two sprues, and what I've done is I've assembled my guys and spray painted them black. So tried to get some different poses. Uh, I did one guy with these two swords, one guy with a giant one, and uh, here I'm putting a bit of gunmetal blue, Reaper metallic paint as a base coat over top of that black, and working my way through. So I've got some of these little uh, purity seals there all over the guys use up some of the bits but there's lots of extra ones okay so now what I'm doing is doing like a heavy dry brush slash stipple of shadowed steel all over everything and I'm gonna be working my way up to polished silver on just the edges so it's hard to see in this light but you'll see a bit more later on just working up the uh, highlights on these guys trying to get a bit of texture there I'm just doing a bit of line highlighting with a polished steel that's a lot like mithril silver games workshop um, and I'm going to be uh, touching that up a little bit later as well. Okay, so uh, moving on to the gold areas there. So I'm starting out everything with the ancient bronze um, uh, all over the gold bits, and scab red is going to be the base coat for all of the red parts and the purity seal portion there, so you can see a bit more going along. Working uh, a bit more of the gold there, um, and yeah, scab red. Okay, so the only pit that's going to be black on these guys is on the Storm Bolter, so that's just going to get a pure black, which is the same as Chaos Black. And then Rainy Gray, it's just going to go sort of on the uh, sharp edges, and you'll see that as it comes on. Uh, Kemery Brown, that's going to be for all the scrolls as well as the cloth bits. So there. Um, and also I've started uh, putting some of the basing material. That's just used espresso grinds. Coffee grinds work as well. And put it on with a really thick layer of brown paint and glue uh, and then just dipped it in there. I was going to dry brush that with Be Still Brown. Uh, Talarin Flesh uh, for the one guy, the sergeant with his head exposed. And now I'm starting to work on these swords. So Foundation Mordiam Blue. Um, once I got that on, Devlin Mud here for all the Kemery Brown areas, so the scrolls and this cloth nothing too fancy as well all of the gold areas uh, got some devil and mud so that just brings down the deep areas there and then uh, highlight on all these scrolls with bleached bone and so one of the things that's nice about bleached bone is that it will layer really well so you can get right down if you thin it right down and put it on very uh, sparingly you can get it very see-through all the way up to almost a white on the parts where it's really thick and it did the same with all of these scrolls you see a bit more. So the scroll on this guy's leg and some of the purity steels. Okay, now with the blood uh, blood red on all of the red areas. Uh, so it's kind of an overbrush on the seals. This here I painted everything basically except for the deep areas. And on this power, uh, sorry, storm hammer, um, thunder hammer, what am I talking about? Thunder hammer, uh, there's a bit of texture here and I tried to pull that out with the blood red. And there's some of the the edges I was talking about with a rainy gray. Okay, so now I'm working my way up with these golds, so it's just uh, kind of covering up as much of the high areas with the antique gold and then getting new gold on just the sharp edges. So it's kind of an overbrush combo of both of them. And you can see him just after the devil and mud, just trying to get all the lettering there. And same with these. So lots of nice little gold bits, contrasts well against the silver and uh, yeah 
lots of really only uh what is it how many colors one two so you have silver gold red black and then brown and some other little areas like his head but really that's the main portions oh and the blue okay so here's the combination i used for these uh, force weapons so i started with the mordian blue which is dark the sapphire blue is a little bit lighter so that's hard to see but it's basically that kind of area so i'm alternating on one side it's going to be lightest here here and here and so i'm just building up the layers to, to layer it up there you can see it a little bit still wet and because it's such a close color um, you don't have to blend it quite as much now i'm working on the true blue so i'm trying to bring that back just a little bit again it's hard to tell here with the, the way the camera exposed this you can see it a bit better here so you have the the base color and then there's your sapphire there's your true and you're kinda trying to bring the variation there I'm working in the sky blue in the center again you'll see this a bit better at the, the end um, because this area is lighter than everything else I'm basically going to be working with a combo here ghost white right just in the very very center to almost get a pure white there and then what I'm also going to do is use the ghost white to line all of the sharp edges and that'll just that'll bring it all together and cover up some of the uh, the mistakes and that's what we have here so there's the the ghost white just in the very center just at the very tip almost a little bit there and then all of these sharp edges have the ghost white and uh, the result is a very fast force sword look um, that looks good on the tabletop this guy here obviously doesn't have any swords or anything, so I did the blue to tie everything in on some of those hoses. Just kept it simple. And here we go, we're all done. So I'll just show you what they look like as a group. Um, you can see these swords here. I think they turned out quite nicely and quite fast to do up. Just rearranging them so this guy's head wasn't blocked. but That's what these guys look on the table. So I did one of each weapon combination. Um, Probably not the most competitive build, but uh, since I only have five of these guys, it's going to look cool in my display cabinet. So I'll just walk you through, or walk you around a couple of the guys to, to see the detail. Lots of great detail. Painted these guys up really fast. The silver is quite quick and uh, looks good, I think. Um, I'm going to be doing the Terminators next, and their, uh, their silver I'm doing a little bit different, so you'll see another technique there. But this one here is basically the same as I did for the Dread Knight. If you haven't seen that video, go check that out. And um, I, I, again, I didn't spend a lot of time on these scrolls. Uh, that's just a little bit of Scorch Brown, uh, just to simulate a bit of text there. And, uh, yeah. And for the base, just a little bit of static grass you put on there with PVA glue, white glue, and Camry Brown around the outside. So that's just the uh, espresso grinds with a dry brush of Bisto Brown, nice and quick, pretty effective. And you'll see here, I didn't really do anything on the shoulder pads. Um, not sure how these guys are going to fit into an army if I ever end up doing a whole army. So they're just going to be plain for now. And the sergeant there. I really should have drilled out these barrels, but I didn't have a drill bit that was the right size. A sixteenth of an inch is a bit too big for drilling those out, um, so I need something slightly smaller. I had fun putting these uh, big scrolls on everything. You can see that one, big giant ponytail kind of thing. Um, lots of purity seals on the sprue to add detail and some little packs and things. So lots of spare bits spare weapons. And there's the group there. And one last. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to come chat back and check for more. There's going to be a Terminator one coming if it's not already up when you're viewing this. And uh, continue doing more videos. Let me know what you think and see you next time.